In this course so far for the majority of the course, uh, what we have discussed are the pedagogical design principles to address learner cognitive engagement and learning when we are designing e-learning. When we take a learner centric approach to designing our e-learning content, how do we implement these pedagogical design principles? For example, we saw that in order to implement active video watching, we can include something like a reflection spot or if we want to address learners conceptual understanding, then we can include activities around a simulation. Before we go on, let us pause at a reflection spot. Assuming you know the topic of the learning dialogue and you have determined which pedagogical design principles are important and how you will uh, apply those strategies, assume you have done all these. You have also included some reflection spot uh, for uh, learner engagement within your learning dialogue. Now before you begin production of this learning dialogue of this video, what are other design decisions that you need to make? Pause for a moment and try to write down as many other design decisions that we have not uh, addressed, that we have not covered so far that you will need to make before you actually begin producing your uh, video, for example, before you begin uh, recording it and editing it and so on. There are several other design decisions that we need to make. Uh, at this point. For example, and this is by no means comprehensive, but this is an illustrative list of or illustrative set of uh, design decisions we need to make. Uh, for example, what are the media we need to select? What are the various technologies? How do we integrate these technologies? And there is a whole lot of decisions we need to make uh, regarding visual communication and presentation. For example, uh, we have to pay attention to the graphic design, to the multimedia design. At the same time, we have to pay attention to interaction design, the user's experience. Uh, how do the users navigate through it? What is the information design structure and so on? So essentially at this point, we have to worry about the user's experience when they interact with the e-content and how do we still maintain a learner centric approach uh, when making design decisions at this stage. So what we will do this week is discuss guidelines about some of these matters. We will discuss the techno technology implications of the various pedagogical principles. For example, we will discuss how to analyze technology requirements, how do we map the technology affordances to the pedagogical design requirements. We will talk uh, to some extent about visual design principles, uh, for example, how to present content on the slide or on the screen, uh, which will again impact the learner interaction and the learner's experience. We will spend some time discussing what is known as multimedia design principles. That is, how do we combine text, visual and audio in our e-content keeping in mind the learner centric approach that is keeping in mind uh, addressing learners cognitive engagement and learning throughout. As I mentioned earlier, this is not a comprehensive uh, set of processes that we have to do, but these are important decisions that we have to make and important points that we have to keep in mind as we design our e-learning. So in the rest of this week, we will have learning dialogues on these guidelines. Thank you.